when you do what you love and love what you do you typically can't go wrong but what if that's not enough let's take some time to reflect doing a phd gives you a lot of freedom but serves you with a lack of stability and consistency on the other hand it equips you with the ability to adapt to every new situation however it leaves your brain and mind wandering and turning every day and every night everything you've been through set through rose through cried through sets you up for the great things in life strength is found in the difficulties we go through to make us strong wisdom is found in the problems we encounter to make us wise courage is found in the troubles we find ourselves to make us brave some may say the sky is the limit but it's far and beyond with that all said and done let's talk Deciding to do a PhD is a major commitment, but is it a decision I regret? And is doing a PhD actually worth it? I can't drink it though. <laughs> and in England it's not worth it? No. Why not? I spent four years in this weather. Oh, this weather. Four years, maybe. Like <laughs> <laughs> I like what you, you research. Mm -hmm. It's probably quite nice and it makes you feel like really productive. Mm -hmm. um, so you learn lots of different skills, not just lab work skills. You also learn lots of transferable skills that can be useful for your life. Because you get to do independent research according to your ideas and acquire a, lot, a great set of new skills. Uh, I think it is because yeah. the adrenaline hit you get when stuff works. You just don't get that in the job. I don't know. I think the jury's still out. You have to give me three more years. Whoa. Then I can tell you if it was worth it, it or not. Damn. But I think, yeah, I don't know. I think I think it is worth it. Um, you get to sort of work in a very supportive environment and, you know, um, you get to like learn a whole new, a whole bunch of new skills that you wouldn't learn otherwise. I totally think your PhD is worth it. First up, you learn skills that are not only important for the PhD, but for any aspect in life, but also because of the people you meet along the way. <laughs> Thank you. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel on this wonderful, beautiful day. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Samuel Dada and I'm a PhD student at the University of Cambridge in the Department of Chemistry, looking at all things neurodegenerative diseases from Alzheimer's to Parkinson's disease. <sighs> so today, the conversation of Let's Talk is gonna be delving into whether I regret doing a PhD or also whether it's actually worth it doing a PhD. So I'm a third year as most of you know um, or in my third year of my PhD and I have gone through this experience um, over the last two years um, we've been you know faced with COVID I had to start my PhD during the pandemic, which wasn't ideal. And now, you know, we've basically been able to adapt um, to what we know as life, life as we know it now. Um, I guess everything has gone back to normal, um, really. I can tell you that the pandemic has had a massive impact on my time um, during my PhD, especially at the beginning, which was very, very difficult. Um, but do I actually regret doing a PhD? I think that's a major question that I'm here to answer and I can say no. I do not regret doing a PhD. Um, with all the ups and downs that the PhD has taken me through, um, this journey has been um, an amazing journey. I've met so many amazing and incredible people that have been able to come into my life, people I would consider long life friends. So it's been a blessing. Um, I am grateful for this opportunity. And I think sometimes that's something I don't, that when you're in this kind of space and environment, sometimes you forget about where you come from and forget to realize that, you know, how far you've come. Um, or how far I've come to get to this point in time where I'm undertaking my a PhD at Cambridge University. This PhD has given me so many opportunities um, that I am so grateful and blessed for. Um, 
Not to say that it doesn't have its challenges, but I would not be doing YouTube right now if not because of this PhD. I don't think it would have opened the doors that YouTube would be able to open for me. Um, the amount of skills I've learned, um, I've been able to gain, the confidence I've been able to have in myself, the growth I've been able to have over time is something I don't think I would have been able to have or I would have had without undertaking a PhD. Um, I had so many self-doubts um, in myself, my confidence in terms of my abilities, what I knew, but I think the PhD has been able to strengthen my confidence in myself and be able to understand myself and my abilities and know what I kind of like, what I don't like. And I've basically grown as a person, as an individual, mentally, physically, emotionally, and also academically. Um, sometimes I don't I kind of take that for granted in terms of academically because I feel like when you're doing a PhD you're kind of focused on this one area so you don't delve into various areas that I sometimes think is my academical knowledge very narrow-minded um, but I've been able to realize that I've gained so many other skills in terms of being able to be initiative, proactive, you know, being able to problem solve, you know, look for solutions rather than focus on the problems all the times, especially during experimentally, being able to deal with setbacks, you know, being able to communicate with people, interact with people from, you know, different walks of life, different, you know, um, backgrounds, different levels of understanding. I've been able to teach, I've been able to supervise, I've been able to guide people. And I don't think without doing a PhD, I would have been able to have all those experiences. Right now, I'm equipped with so much knowledge and I feel so vast in my knowledge. I feel like anytime I walk into a new environment, a new space, I know that I'm going to do well. And I go in with that confidence that I know I, I know my abilities, I know my worth, and I know that I am going to succeed as long as I put my all into it, as long as I'm committed and dedicated to any craft I do. Um, and that's something that I feel like the PhD has been able to equip me with. That's not to say that the PhD doesn't pose loads of challenges and there are things that I don't like about the PhD. There are loads of things that I don't like about doing a PhD that I'm going to delve into, but I just want to start off by just saying that I do appreciate this opportunities that I have um, and this, you know, this this platform that I've been, that I've pretty much been able to create um, as a result of my PhD. As much as a PhD is hard, as much as it, it's it's a lonely world, like I spoke about in my previous video, um, with all the challenges, it's given me so much um, more than what I would have ever asked for. I feel I feel confident. I feel alive. I feel good about you know the future as well. You know I feel like you know what once I'm done doing this, I feel like you know the future is bright. There are loads of issues I have um, which I've been able to realize, which is obviously something that generally some people might be okay with it but I've realized in myself especially growing in knowledge growing in understanding and growing in understanding myself as an individual when I decided to do a PhD um, a lot of it was just kind of you know what I love research research is what I love to do and I would love to make a difference you know in one way or another in whichever shape or form that takes I wasn't really sure but I knew that my interest in research in science in general was driven over the knowledge that I had loads of you know family members that were you know dealing with loads of chronic illnesses uh, various other things that we can go into so that was my driving force into research I loved it and I also had a motivation to do it and to find out answers for the various things and also my motivation was that I wanted to make an impact but I feel like Personally, the fulfillment of making an impact within academia for myself is not quite fulfilling enough. I am hungry for more. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> um, that's not to say that academia is um, a bad um, place because depending on what you want out of it, it might be perfect for you. But I was coming into academia from a standpoint that actually was very naive or really, I didn't really know much about it. Um, my path to this point of doing a PhD has just been, been a blessed path. 
essentially i've been very opportune i've been very privileged that i've been at the right place at the right time and i had the right people around me to guide me through this and um, to get into where i am today um so that has been great not to say that i haven't worked hard i have obviously but i have been very privileged and opportune to have the right people around me guiding me um so getting to this point in time it was more of what do i love doing and also is this an opportunity of making an impact? And when I started the PhD, that was the two things. And it was, yes, it was. But obviously maturing in this industry, understanding it, I have obviously realized that in general, the goal always seems to be all about publications. <laughs> and I am not sure that's something that, you know, drives me because I feel like, you know, if I publish something, I really want to see the impact of what that publication has in the future. But I just feel like um, I don't really get any fulfillment out of publishing things. I want to see tangible impact of what my publication is going to have in society or within my field, neurodegenerative diseases. And I don't feel like I can make that impact within academia in itself. And that's something I've been struggling with because I feel like, I know, loads of people have that drive within, you know, I want to publish that paper, I want to publish that paper. But I don't seem to have that, you know, that zeal for it, for some odd reason. And I realised that the most important thing for me is actually having an impact and seeing what that impact has. Not in a paper format. I want to be able to you know, speak to people about my research and see what can be done to improve. I want to have discussions. I want to have collaborations with people to actually make a difference within the medical field, within the scientific field. And I feel like within academia, I am not making that difference. I am seeing the difference and that tangible difference coming out in a different way through YouTube, for example. By sharing my story, by sharing, you know, interview techniques, um, you know, how to write a CV, how to write a personal statement, I feel like that's making more an impact because people are coming back to me and saying, Sam, thank you so much. Um, would you mind sharing your personal statement with me? Would you mind, or oh, like sending me thank you messages for, you know, guiding them and helping them being able to get into their dream university or their PhD of choice. And which is something I love doing. I love, I love that aspect that, you know, what I am doing is not for nothing. It's actually making an impact to one person in one person's life or another person. Where I just feel like in academia, I don't really see it. I see people citing and I just feel like the goals and the direction in which it's going is not something I feel like it's aligned with where I want to go personally. Um, not to say that academia is a complete shot shot because at the end of the day the only thing consistent in life or constant in life is change so my mind could change but and this position i'm in right now i want to be able to explore more i want to be able to see if i can actually make a tangible difference and that's why i do loads of this outreach stuff um i've started a new society within cambridge university with two of my colleagues jordan and tabs known as the cambridge black postgraduate society because i feel like that's something that's missing so back to the question the question was do i regret doing a phd and is doing a phd worth it I've answered the first one, I don't regret doing a PhD. You know what, there is no knowledge that it's lost. And the second answer is, a PhD is definitely worthwhile. Um, but obviously, I think it's very important for you to go into a PhD for the right reasons. I don't think, you know, deciding, oh, I'm not really sure what to do at this moment, so let me just take the PhD direction is gonna cut it. Um, because I can tell you for a fact that you're not going to enjoy it and you're going to have the worst time possible because a PhD is a marathon and it's built on dedication and interest and love and passion for what you're doing um, because it's very monotonous. Um, you're going to be researching into one thing over and over and having discussions about it all the time. So you need to have the drive and the love and passion for that subject that you want to do it. Do it. So you need to go in into doing a PhD or applying for a PhD for the right reasons. But 
it is definitely worth it. The amount of skills I have learned and I'm equipped with is something I do not regret whatsoever. So yes, I think doing a PhD is worth it, but make sure you do it for the right reasons. But anyway, guys, that's the end of the video of Let's Talk um, with Samuel Dada. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope this has been very insightful for you and it's been very thought-provoking for you for you guys in general. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please press that notification bell because guys, I am about to get more consistent um, with this YouTube um, life. I am hungry um, for it and I want to make an impact in everyone's life or as many lives as I can um, with this um, channel. And also guys, please comment down below I want to see some more interactions. I want to see some more discussions going on. So please put a comment down below on what you think about this video, your thought process, your feelings, anything. But anyway, guys, um, hope you stay blessed. Hope you dream big and keep being inspired. So I'll see you guys in the next video. So take care, stay blessed. Goodbye. Cool.